The Atlanta streetcar is about to get an expansion despite its struggles with low ridership. Maybe this will bring more people on board. Marta could connect it to one of the most popular parts of the Atlanta Beltline. 11 Allies Ariana Manis is live with the details. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Cheryl. This extension would connect downtown Atlanta to Pont City Market in this week. Martyr, they're expected to approve $11.5 million just to engineer this plan. Now the Atlanta streetcar, it's been running for the past eight and a half years, but during that time, ridership has certainly been low. Now the existing route is a 2.7 mile loop, which connects Centennial Olympic Park to the historic Sweet Auburn neighborhood. Now the new extension would connect with the Beltline at Irwin Street. The streetcar would then have five stops on a one and a half mile stretch along the Beltline's east side trail before reaching Ponce de Leon Avenue. Now supporters of the plan, they see this as a way to, for the streetcar to make new connections to the Beltline, but others who say they love the Beltline, they also say they are not in love with this plan. Take a listen. They can arrive by a scooter on foot, on bicycle, and they can go home on streetcar, or they can do it all on streetcar or all on foot. It's always been the vision of the Beltline to equalize that. Beltline is sports, it's music, it's fun. And I think the other, the, the rail that you say, the car rail, will impact in a bad way. The plan is to start the streetcar service on the Beltline within the next four years with an estimated price tag at $200 million. Back to you. All right, Ariana, the Beltline is such a great part of our city, so popular, and the city wants to make it even better, easier for people to access and enjoy. Some ideas are gaining support. There are two ideas the Atlanta's Zoning Review Board is supporting right now. One bans new gas stations near the Beltline. The other would remove some minimum parking requirements within a half mile of the trail. A rule that didn't gain support would have banned drive throughs in the area. The board worries it could impact restaurant diversity. Now, none of these are rules just yet, just proposals. City Council will make the ultimate decision.